In lecture five, we will be discussing the Financial Sector Conduct Authority, the FSCA, previously the FSB, Financial Services Board. Speaking specifically about the Financial Sector Conduct Authority, it is a separate agency. We've said it is independent. They supervise compliance. They advise the minister and they promote consumer education programs because at the end of the day, the consumer needs to be aware of what they are doing correctly or incorrectly in the market. If you look at the financial advisory and intermediary services, they have a piece of legislation called FIRES. What FIRES does is it has a specific individual called a financial services provider. So this FSP must comply with special requirements to guarantee that they are giving the correct advice. You can never guarantee that the advice will turn out the way you planned, but you need to ensure that consumers are protective with regards to advice. So we will cover FAERS in specific detail later on in the course. So here I've just briefly discussed what FAERS covers. We will just look at the various departments within FIRES and we'll go through it a bit quickly because we are going to do it later on in the course. Firstly, you have the Capital Markets Department. They provide infrastructure in the form of an exchange and they maintain that infrastructure to make sure that they bring together the buyers and sellers of securities. You have the Directorate of Market Abuse. This department investigates proceedings with regards to insider trading, manipulative trading practices, false deceptive trading practices, and forecasts that are inter incorrect. So, for example, Chapter 10 of the Financial Markets Act will be carried out by the Directorate of Market Abuse. When we deal with the Financial Markets Act, we will deal specifically with Chapter 10. You have the Collective Investment Schemes Department. This department is regulated in terms of the Financial Markets Act. You must be registered, you must be fit and proper, and you must have capital aside in case of a downturn. The Credit Rating Services Department has a look and evaluates credit risk and it needs to make sure that the risk in South Africa doesn't reach a certain level. You do not want people to become over indebted. You do not want to create this environment where credit is too freely available because then people take out credit they cannot afford. You also don't want people access to credit to be denied to people who need it. So the Credit Rating Services Department deals with the National Credit Regulator and they look at the ratings of specific agencies. If an institution gives too much credit, they could be regarded as reckless. Whereas if an institution takes care in giving out credit and runs specific credit checks, they will be okay and the Credit Rating Services Department monitors this. The Insurance Division looks at legislation in terms of long-term and short-term insurance. We will not be going into this in detail in this course. The Retirement Funds and Friendly Societies Department, we will also not be going into detail in this course. What you should just keep in mind is that the Friendly Societies Act looks at burial societies, which are very prevalent here in South Africa. So they give specific guidelines to ensure that these societies also follow legislation. The inspectorate department, at any time, they can inspect the affairs of, of a financial institution. So if you look at the Financial Markets Act, it gives the Financial Sector Conduct Authority the special authority 
to administer an oath, to enter in search of premises, to open a safe, to examine and make copies of documents, and to retain such documents. Because at the end of the day, if someone is committing an offence, you need to ensure that there is something that you can do about it. So they also have the authority to go and investigate that. They cannot just take documents and not do anything about it. There needs to be a report that is prepared at the end of it.